Field of Honor is the latest indie game that tries to make a Mountain Blade style Napoleonic War type thing. There's been a couple of these over the years and there's like two good ones. We'll see if this is one of them. Hello, army. There's someone over here. Yeah, forward. Let's go. Where are you guys going? Can I command you? Oh, they have uh, auto-generated commands. Can I tell you to go there? I th yeah, go there, okay. So I can I can just tell everybody to go to B. Everyone go to B. We're attacking Objective Bravo. Yeah, go in, horses. How can the cavalry advance without infantry support? Very loud. We have very loud drummers in this army. Let's go, France, woo! Let's go, blue team. Yeah, rush B, the age-old tactic. We'll send in our horses. They're already at A and C, so. Yeah, give us this one. This one's ours. Maybe we should attack A then. Oh, crap. Ah, <laughs> flee in terror. Flee in terror. Is there a third person? Oh, no, they're all after me. Oh, no, help me, rifleman. Help me. Defend your king. Don't shoot me, though. Yeah, shoot them. Yeah, I baited those guys. They got baited. Is that an enemy cavalry charge on me? I think it is. We got some friendly horses, though. I keep advancing units. Can you go faster? Oh, some of them decided they don't want to do my objective anymore. What the? Oh, those must have been ones that just spawned in, maybe. I hear... Oh, that's bad. I was going to say, I hear a giant stampede. I hear death chasing me. Almost got Stonewall Jackson, yeah. I feel like I've been Stonewall Jackson many times, but there's no friendly fire. Push forth, my jolly lads. Austria will not control these three buildings. These are French buildings now. Bonjour. Forward. Oh crap, they're coming. Gun them down. Gun them down. Show them who's boss. Eh. Yeah, showed that guy. He is definitely not the boss. I'll tell you that much. Objective Alpha is ours. Secure Objective Charlie. Charge position. Yeah, charge. Charge. And you guys. Charge B. Rush B. It's our only hope. Generals gathered in their masses. Wasn't that in the Napoleon movie trailer? Am I misremembering that? I feel like the Napoleon movie trailer had war pigs playing. Which is not a good sign. I still haven't seen that movie. I did watch some of the scenes on YouTube, though. And, uh, not impressed. I probably will never watch that movie. Because someone I know watched it and said it was really good. The battles are really good. So I looked up the battles. And I looked up the Waterloo battle. And oh my god. <laughs> the worst thing I've ever seen. And they were like, you, it, it, it looks cool. You just, you just didn't like it because it, was, it wasn't was historically accurate. It was a cool movie. You're just mad because it was not historically accurate. And I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, if you're making a movie about a real guy, you can try. You know, you, know, you can take some liberties, but... In the, in the Waterloo battle in Napoleon, he, like, gets on his horse, and he's like, this will be my final charge. And he, like, charges into the British infantry, and he's, like, 1v1-ing them with a sword. And it's like, what is happening? This this did not happen. He was the general. He didn't go 1v1, guys. What? And the entire battle of Waterloo is, like, a thousand reenactors in one line, and that's it. It's like the, like, it's like the battle in The Patriot, where there's just, like, a bunch of guys in a field. That's the whole battle. It's like if that was a battle of Waterloo, it's like, oh man. It was not good. I was not impressed. Ow.
I think the Alexander movie did a good job with that. Well, the Alexander movie. Alexander is so old that, like, who even knows if that guy really did? Who knows? You're telling me Napoleon went full Jedi Master? Yeah, he. the scene in the, uh, the scene in the 2003 Clone Wars cartoon where Mace Windu fights the droid ship that, like, crushes the ground, that was Napoleon. He was doing that. But yeah, uh, I probably won't ever watch that Napoleon movie. Look terrible. Look like trash. This looks fun. Yeah, this is a fun little sandbox. All these, there's a couple games like this. Rise of Liberty is another one. There's a Roblox uh, Mountain Blade Napoleon called like Blood and Steel or something like that, like Blood and Iron. Because I was wondering like Mountain Blade Napoleon Wars is like super old. There has to be some game that's like taken up the mantle of it by now. And it seems like it's a it's a Roblox game. I think a Roblox game did. It. There is that one I forgot what it's called, but it's not like a you control units type game. That that one I'm thinking of is like everyone is one guy. Like the mode I like in Mountain Blade Napoleon Wars is the mode where everyone has their own unit. Hold fast, yeah. Hold fast is everybody is one guy though. I wish Hold fast had a commander mode. It's very fun to command an army of like a hundred guys and have several thousand NPCs having a cool battle with cannons and stuff. It's kind of niche though. Because there's a decent player base for like a hold fast and that one Civil War one. But again, those are games where you play as like a single guy. I want that game, but you have an army of like a hundred guys. Everyone has their own unit. If I had an indie game developer, that's what we'd be making, and then we would go out of business. Because the market would be really small. I don't know, I, th I think if it's Steam Workshop, maybe. If you make a framework that is comparable gameplay-wise to Mountain Blade Napoleon Wars, and then you give it Steam Workshop so people can build their own scenarios, that might be enough to justify a game's existence. Because, like, people could, uh, you could, like, make famous historical scenarios and you play through them. Which, again, the appeal is not wide. It's not a broadly appealing topic, but it would be kind of fun. Like, an indie studio makes the framework, and then somebody else makes a mod of Gettysburg. Like, that kind of thing. You would definitely make store a management simulator? Yeah, I probably would. Streamer, I would, I would make a streamer life simulator, but it's realistic. I would make a realistic streamer life simulator instead of these fake ones. Instead of YouTuber's life. Yeah, right. I'll make the real YouTuber's life. This flag belongs to France. You will never take it from my clutches. Did they make a Darkest of Days remake mod? Yeah. There's an iOS Tesla Punk Civil War RPG called Nobleman. What the heck? Tesla Punk? Wake up, squash rats, play video games. Yeah, streamer's life, attack of the rats. Ravenfield has enough Napoleon mods to turn into a decent Napoleon. Yeah, like a, like a Ravenfield, you know? Like Ravenfield, but specifically for a Napoleon. Because, like, I, I understand that, like, when you're indie dev, graphics is, like, one of the hardest things. But when you when you got like the default, when you, like the Ravenfield guys, they're not it. Like Ravenfield is good. I have like probably like twenty-ish hours in Ravenfield, just messing with scenarios. But those those low poly guys ain't it. And these guys, it's weird that these guys are like flatly cell shaded. That's a bit weird. Like Mountain Blade graphics are not even good. Mountain Blade graphics are like PS2 graphics. If you just made Ravenfield with PS2 graphics. That's all, that's all I'm asking for. Just make it, how hard can it be? How ha 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 hard can it be? Electro, magic, armor, and teleporters in Civil War era. Hmm. That's Tesla Punk. Tesla Punk 2077. Look, I'm Napoleon, I'm gonna go 1v1 soldiers with a sword. Never mind, I got shot and died, which is what would happen if Napoleon went and did that, so why would he do that in the movie? Yeah, send them in. Send in the troops. Hey, Cannon, you can stop and shoot. I guess it can't, because the 
They have no line of sight on the dreaded Austrian foe. I wish somebody would make Napoleon Total War, but you can like zoom in and play as one of the officers. That That's what I want. I want Napoleon Total War, like that level of graphical fidelity, which again, is not even that high because that game's pretty old. But every player controls one unit from the first person perspective of one of the officers. But then you have to have like a commander guy. I guess you would have to have one guy be in the commander mode, like Battlefield 2 commander mode. And if your commander sucks, it'd be annoying because like the, the commander could have like an omniscient view, like a top down RTS view, and he could like give you orders. But if your commander sucks or we just don't feel like listening to him, that could kind of suck too. Honestly, Mountain Blade uh, Napoleon Wars Online is just fine without a commander. So maybe you don't need that. Maybe you don't need a guy issuing orders. Because Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars Online is just good enough. Also, the only server that is up that ever has any players for Mountain Blade Napoleon Wars. This is my pet peeve. The only server that ever does bot commander battles bans the good units. They ban the fishermen and they ban the proletariat or whatever. What are they called? I don't know. They, they ban all the crappy units that suck so you can't be them. You're only allowed to be the boring rifleman units. Why did they ban the fun units? Someone's, someone's got to host a different competitor server that has all the fun units enabled. Because they were like, oh, we wanted to be competitive, so therefore we disabled all the fun units. Because if, if one team... If it's like a 5v5, excuse me drums, I'm trying to complain about a game no one's played in 10 years. If it's like a 5v5 battle, and one army has one player be like, I'm gonna pick the sailors for the meme, haha, -ha, they will lose because the sailors are terrible, but also it's hilarious. It's so fun to be the sailors. And you can be like the unruly mob, like the Russians have the unruly mob class and the unruly mob is banned on that server. They have like hose, they have like a cracked bottle as their weapon. One of the greatest moments in that game was I convinced my entire team one time to play as the British sailors. And the British sailors are just like shirtless guys with very tight pants. And they have like maybe a flintlock pistol. Like they suck. They're just like completely useless. And our entire team picked them. And it was like 500 British sailors just charging a line of muskets and dying by the thousands because they had no chance because they didn't have guns. But it was very funny. Need to only meme classes server. Yeah, let me play the meme classes server. Let me play that one. And also they like limit the rifleman class, which is dumb. They're like only only a couple people can play as riflemen. It's like why? Because the riflemen are more accurate than the normal guys, but they don't have bayonets. So the whole the whole point like if you made an army of all riflemen, you wouldn't win. Because if bayonet guys got up to you, which they would, you would die. So the rifles already have a natural counter, so it's dumb they limit the riflemen. It's dumb that there's any limits, is what I'm saying. It's it's literally like a melee tournament that like bans half the maps. It's like a melee tournament where like 90% of the maps aren't allowed. It's like, can't we can't we this is a game no one like no one cares about Mountain Blade Napoleon Wars. Let's be real. I like it. I play it sometimes. No one cares. No one cares at all about this game. So why can't we just have some fun with it? Why we gotta like, why are we playing a competitive rule set in this 55 year old game with three players globally? What's the deal with that? So that was my rant. That was my rant about Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars. Does anybody here even play Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I'm very passionate on this topic that very few care about. Maybe I can shed some light. Haven't played it in years? Okay, but you have played it though. Okay, okay. We got a previous player. You play as a drummer anyways? Yeah, when we're doing the, the single person battles. When we, we're in a lobby that's like, you can only be one guy, I'll play as the band member because the band member is a hilarious class. But in the commander mode, I want the meme classes to be unlocked. Anyways, this game's okay. This battle's kind of going on forever, though. F1 for quick... Oh, my God. It was so loud. F1 for quick C. Oh, command... Oh, it does have commands. Okay. How do I... 
know who I'm commanding, though. How do I select the unit? Okay, it has the Mountain Blade commanding interface. Who am I commanding, though? Do I gotta go into this and click them? And then do it? Go over here, guys. Yeah, okay. Are they doing it? Back up. They're not doing it. Hey, you. Attack. Okay, they're doing it. Are they? How about follow me? Will that work? Hey, follow me, guys. Oh, I see it. Yeah, you're right. On the right-hand side there, it shows what units will be commanded. Only guys right next to you get commanded. Hey, follow me. Oh god, they're oh god, they're following me. Is this really what I wanted? They're so loud. Come on, march into battle. March forth. We must sally forth. They're never gonna catch me. And medium battle was too long. That was too much. What other mode? Let's try the uh, survival mode. I've got a million guys. So I gotta make these million guys just defend. How do I make them defend? Yeah, go go form a line and defend. That's all we need. And the cannon can go like right there. So by, by default, they're all gonna go stand in a line outside the camp, I think. Defend for 20 minutes? That's a long time. Can we possibly hold back the hordes of Englishmen? Listen up, troopers of Spain. Uh, we gotta win. <laughs> Forward to glory. We gotta win. Fortunately, it will take them like 50 minutes to walk towards us. We only have to defend for one minute out of the 20, because it'll take them a really long time to get here. Unless the horses are there, uh-oh. Defend me. Defend me, troops. Is there click and drag? Can I, like, click and drag them to form a bigger line? Nope. Alright, shoot. Fire at will. Give him a blast. Thought you were carrying a book. The big book of battle tactics. I'm strafing, I'm strafing. Yeah, forward. Forward, noble horseman. Cut him down. Are you my guy? Oh, you're bad. Cut him down. Yeah. Keep defending. I don't think there's friendly fire. I missed. Is there friendly fire, Top Hatman? There's not. Might be a setting you can toggle on or off. Top Hatman did not take damage, though. Good for him. Can we even lose? I feel like it's really easy if Rustin does not lose. Because they gotta, they gotta walk towards us, so we always win. Because they have to go from the walking animation to the shooting animation, whereas we're already in the shooting animation by default. I feel like it's a flawless victory for the Spaniards here. Uh, not historically accurate. Yeah, there's no friendly fire. Uh, in real life, there was friendly fire, so actually this game is terrible and sucks. Fourth, your lingus. No one knows what that means, but fourth. Are you flanking me? They're flanking me. Wait, they're my guys. Never mind. What's up, fellas? The cannon's in a bad spot. We gotta move the cannon up. Hang on. I'm sorry, cannon. I didn't realize. Go, go over here. Go over there. Give me some good strafing shots.
Is there infantry even here yet? Are they only sending? Oh, there's the guys. They got those guys. They went down. I think they're just not spawning enough guys. They keep spawning like one unit of horses. Oh, there's a cannon. They got cannons. I will eliminate their guns. That'll be my contribution to the battle. Hey, die. Oh, hang on. I didn't mean it. It was all a joke. Cut them off my own guys. Yeah, look at that. Maneuver. And then we gotta get one of these. Yeah. The cannon has been silenced. Take that, gunnery. When I know what advancements have been made in modern gunnery. When I'm no more of tactics than a novice in a nunnery. Yeah, I feel like we can't lose. I think it's just kind of like an easy win. They were supposed to be able to deploy more troops in you, but you change the setting. Oh, yeah, they were supposed to outnumber us. But I changed that so they can't outnumber us. Well, that's on me. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is what I want. This is more like it. What are they? Oh, no. What are they doing? They're scrambling. Ugh. So loud on the battlefield today. I must go to my tent. I must go to the safety of my tent. Yes, forward troops. Face the hated foe. They won't ever cross our river. Let's go ahead and look away from the army. Okay, frame rate is decent for having a thousand guys. Maybe that'll change when the shooting starts, though. Where are they? There they are, the hated foe. I can't miss, right? This is a free kill. It missed? What? Did it have a bullet drop? That missed too? Aim really high. Nope. Maybe it's a distance thing? The Battle of Ratitude River. Yeah, there you go. I am Napoleon tonight. Viva la France. <laughs> Terrible. I will ape Napoleon. All right, move forward. I want to see big shooting. I want to see massive death. I want to see large carnage. I hear yelling. What the? I don't hear bayonet sounds. Shoot. Fire. Yeah. Perfect. That's what I want. I will ape the English. I'm gonna die. I need god mode. I'm a juicy target. Oh, they're charging. We're going in. Go for it, Frenchman. You're watching Slideshow Gaming. Get me off this horse. This horse is a liability. I'll hide behind the horse. Forward, Frenchman, forward. Fear not the Austrians. Let's get some one frame rate sword kills. Die. Yeah, I got someone. Die. I died. I was slain. How's it going? Are we winning? It's hard to tell if we're winning or not. The fog of war. We have 600 and about 600 guys left. We lost, we lost like 30 guys as I was talking. Oh, look how many guys we're losing. We lost like 100 guys in 10 seconds. The amount of guys. Look at, the, look at that number up there. Top middle. It's going down so fast, and every time someone dies, they get a little bit more frame rate back. My original lyrics. God damn, it's Napoleon. It was as good as a victory in my mind, but a victory in my mind's no good. Eh, kinda, kinda. I'll give you a kind of on that one. Are we losing big time? I think we lost big time. How did we lose big time? Probably because we charged in. All my guys just ran across the river like fools. 
I think I turned up the bayonet attack too high. I think the bayonet charge proficiency should have been a little bit lower. Maybe no bayonet charges would have been better. I think I think the battle of the Ratitude River is lost. I don't think we're gonna win this one. They're encroaching upon our army camp, which is one tent. A single tent is being overrun. Oh no. This is too intense for me. Let's do another commander battle. Well, the game crashed because there was too many guys. Oh, well. It's not quite as polished as Rise of Liberty, but with a few more updates, it can get to Rise of Liberty tier, and Rise of Liberty is good. So if this can get to Rise of Liberty levels of quality and then have a few more updates to become a little bit better than Rise of Liberty, because as far as I know, Rise of Liberty is done development, then it will be a winner in my book.